Good morning, guys. There's something very sinister that's going afoot <clears throat> in America. If you recall, I did a video, and I might put it in the link in the description, um, a link of the video in the description. But I did a video probably a month ago where somebody on my Facebook page tagged me in a bunch of a series of other videos where surveillance footage caught people in China purposefully licking their finger and touching doorbells on the uh, elevator and, and doorknobs. They were spitting on anything that a human being would physically touch. These sick people was purposefully spitting on each other, trying to, you know, I'm, I'm basically like a kamikaze. If, if I'm going to die from the coronavirus, then I'm going to take as many of you with me as possible. Two days ago, the FBI released an article, I mean, a warning to the police department that white supremacists and, you know, uh, extremists, if the extremist member of any group was to find themselves infected with COVID-19, it's incumbent upon them to go to the hood or any Asian or any Hispanic neighborhood and try to infect as many people as possible. And the way they was going to do it, and even the police members, so they were even they were even um, ordered to to get the police infected by going to a police car and spitting on the police doorknobs, going in the ghetto, licking doorknobs, spitting on doorknobs. Also, and this is a very important thing. If you got this far in the video, I have I got two because I spray paint. I keep those blue nitro gloves with me, but I went to Home Depot and stocked up on as many as many of them as I can. I don't wear a mask, but I do wear those blue gloves everywhere now because what's been happening is with the coronavirus challenge, there have been a lot of people. There's two challenges now. Infect as many people as possible and can you lick a doorknob? Even, I know y'all been seeing them stupid videos of, of them little kids and those stupid ass um, social media influencers out there licking doorknobs. They, they, they got one video of a bunch of little girls sharing the same blow pop dumb shit but the supremacists what they're doing now is licking money like literally licking money cash money and go and that's why a lot of stores have been saying credit card only but i'm gonna get to that later so with the um situation with the uh, white supremacist warning is that these uh extremists was like in the white nationalists only if they're infected with the coronavirus what they're doing is to get at as many asian and black people as possible they're actually um making it their business to lick money, get as many ones as possible and go to like any black corner store and spend the money in the hood. So that way you can touch the money and you get the coronavirus. If you touch your nose, your face or whatever, I, I just sanitize my hands. I, I can scratch myself. But now getting back to the credit card situation, it's not going to start. Even if you don't take money at your store as a, as a customer, you still take the, um, to stand the potential risk of touching a, a, a gas pump the gas pumps also gas pumps your own personal doorknobs so i counsel to people who ask me for my advice i've been getting a lot of crazy emails lately off of facebook and this youtube channel was that i would say stock up on gloves if, if there's anything you should stock up on is stock up on gloves and regular alcohol but more importantly i use dial soap like dial also, at AutoZone, they sell that soap um, pumice, that uh, orange Gojo shit. I use that because of the spray paint in my fingernails. But either or, keep them gloves on because I'm going to tell you something. It's going to be about another two months before this shit is uh, under control. I'm going to do another video after this one sometime today about um, what jobs to do or what jobs you can do in the meantime while you're waiting on this um, bullshit stimulus package to come through. That, that Trump check ain't coming no time soon, y'all. Um, anyway, that's about it for now, man. But yeah, definitely, man, just be diligent. And for the most part, try your best to wear, uh, get them, them blue nitro gloves. And don't. It, and more importantly, even if you can't find the nitro gloves, really any pair of gloves will do. And it, you know, as long as your physical hands ain't touching the surface, keep you some gloves or keep you a box of napkins or even get a plastic bag like this. Like this one. I got a Walgreens bag, but I've been using, you know, ghetto style. I've been using, I put a bag on my hand and I've been touching shit, you know, with a bag like, you know, or even, but don't use your own shirt because what happened is the coronavirus itself can survive 
17 days on a surface. It was just discovered. Uh, well, let me rephrase. I just found the article this morning looking for topics to talk about and doing my own research. And that on um, Princess Cruise Line, they found out that the coronavirus survived on a Princess Cruise Line ship for 17 days. All right. So be diligent, y'all. I would say at the very least between now and if today is what? A March the 23rd, I think. Today, I think today is the 23rd. I would say by May, really, I'll say by July, to be honest, because Essence Fest is still going forward here in New Orleans. Essence Fest has not canceled. They're pushing forward. Essence Fest will take place in New Orleans July uh, 4th weekend. So I would say for the time being, because of this that nasty licking on money shit, be diligent. And even if you don't wear gloves, just stay washing your hands all day long. At least wash your, if you, you should at least be in a position to wash your hands at least 20 times a day. You might not like it. You might have prunes for fingers, but wash your hands all day long. If you're, It's only if you don't wear gloves. If you're not wearing gloves, all right? I'm out.